This question was asked in year 2005 and it was a two mark question based on recursive programming. So let us see. So int main a is equal to 2048 and uh, sum is equal to 0. That means there are two variables a and sum. So the value for the variable a is 2048 and the value which is stored in sum is 0. Okay, then we call the function foo and I pass the value of a and sum. So this value will be copied here and the value, value of n will, will now be the value of a and the value of sum will now be the value of this sum. So I've called foo. So what is the value of n? Sorry. What is the value of n? So value of n is 2048. And the value of sum is 0. Right? Then there are two variables k and j into the foo function. So there is a variable k and the value of k is 0. There is a variable j and the value of j is 0. Then if n is equal to 0, then return. Now, the value of n is 2048. 204 is not equal to 0, therefore this statement will not be executed. Then it is going to execute k is equal to n percentage 10. That means I am going to divide n by 10 and what will be the remainder? I am going to store that remainder into k. Therefore, if I divide 2048 by 10, then the remainder will be 8. Therefore, the value of k will now be 8 and j is equal to n by 10 that means if i divide n divide by 10 and then whatever the question will be it will be stored in j right and uh, j is an integer variable therefore uh, it will only store 204 instead of uh, storing 204.8 so j is going to store 204 now sum is equal to sum plus k the value of sum this variable sum is equal to sum plus k. The initial value was 0. I did sum plus k which is sum is now going to be 8. Right. Then I called foo j comma sum. That means I am again calling this function and this time I am calling foo what is the value of j? 204 comma sum. What is the value of sum? Sum is 8. Right. So again uh, the value of n, there, there will be two uh, new variables, this is n and this is sum, right? And k is equal to 0 and j is equal to 0. For this foo, there are two variables, k is equal to 0 and j is equal to 0. Now this k and j are not static variables, so make sure you, uh, you don't uh, confuse it with static variables. So they have not explicitly specified whether they are static variables or not. They, they are not actually st static variables. So uh, the value of n is 204 which is not equal to 0 so this statement will not be executed. Then k is equal to n percentage 10. So what is the value of n? n is 204 and then n percentage 10 that means I am going to divide the value of n by 10 and whatever will be the remainder then I am going to store the remainder in the, into the k. So k will store 4. Then j is equal to n divided by 10. So j is equal to uh, 204 divided by 10 and then I am going, going to store that into an integer variable therefore it is going, only going to store 20. So uh, because it, it is an integer it is going to neglect the point part and then I am making sum is equal to sum plus k therefore I am making this sum as sum plus k so the value of sum was 8 and the value of k is 4 therefore the value of sum will be 12. Right? Then again I am calling foo. Here again I am calling foo j comma sum. The value of j is 20. The value of sum is 12. Then n is equal to 20. And sum is equal to 12. Right? Then if n is equal to 0, no, n is not equal to 0, k is equal to n percentage 10. Therefore the value of k will now be n percentage 10 which is 20 percentage 10 is 
so that is remainder so the value of k will be 0 and then j is equal to some j is equal to n divided by 10 so j is equal to 2 so 20 divided by 10 is 2 so then sum is equal to sum plus k so the value of sum will now be sum plus k which is equal to 12 plus 0 is equal to 12 therefore the value of sum will be 12 then again i'm calling this function then i'm passing the value as foo j comma sum the value of j is 2 the value of sum is 12 right so this is these are the new values for n and sum right so uh, then k is equal to 0 this there are two variables k is equal to 0 and j is equal to 0 then n is not equal to 0 because the value of n is 2 then k is equal to n percentage 10 that means 2 percentage 10 2 if it divide 2 by 10 then what, what will be the remainder so in this case 2 more 10 is 2 the value of k will be 2 and then uh, j is equal to n by 10 so if we divide 2 by 10 it will be 0 0.2 so i am going to storing that value into integer variable therefore it is going to store 0 here then sum is equal to sum uh, plus k then the, the value of sum will be 12 plus 2 is equal to 14 right then again i am going to call foo 0 comma 14 right so when i call foo 0 comma 14 then there are two variables k is equal to 0 and j is equal to 0 then if n is equal to 0 then return the value of n is 0 therefore this will not do anything and it, uh, the control will go back to the previous statement for this foo statement i have executed only this statement now it is going to value print the value of k so first printed value will be 2 therefore first printed value will be 2 then this function will be finished and the control will go back to this statement then for this the next statement which it will execute is this it will print the value of k which is equal to 0 then again the control will go back to this statement then again it is going to print the value of k which is equal to 4 this is going to print 4 then again the control will go back to this statement and it is going to print the value of k which is equal to 8 and again the control will go back to the last statement so uh, no this all these calls are finished therefore the control will go back to this uh, main function and now it is going to print the value of sum and the value of sum is 0 therefore the output will be 20480 the answer d is correct for this question so this was a two mark question in gate 2005